In question 3, the problem statement says that the lengths of two parallel chords of a circle are 6 cm and 8 cm. So we have a circle in which there are two parallel chords. The shorter one has a length of 6 cm. The longer one has a length of 8 cm. If the smaller chord is at a distance of 4 cm from the center, what is the distance of the other chord, the one with the length 8 cm from the center? So this is what we have to find, the distance of the larger chord from the center. So let's draw a figure for this given information. Here's a circle that I will use to draw a figure. So let's draw one chord, the smaller chord, which has a length of 6 cm. And let's draw a larger chord parallel to the first one with a length of 8 cm. So let's call the smaller chord AB and the larger chord CD. Now, I have drawn the two chords to be on the opposite sides of the center O. But in the problem statement, this is not given to us. We are not told explicitly whether the two chords lie on the same side of the center or on the opposite sides of the center. But it doesn't really matter because in either case, you will find that the distance of the uh, larger chord from the center will be the same. So let's go with this case where the two chords are on opposite sides of uh, the center. So AB has a length of 6 centimeters and CD has a length of 8 centimeters. We also know that AB is at a distance of 4 centimeter from the center. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw the perpendicular bisector of AB. This perpendicular bisector will pass through O, the center, because the perpendicular bisector of any chord must pass through the center. And now because CD uh, is parallel to AB, uh, chord CD is parallel to AB, so this perpendicular bisector of AB must also uh, be perpendicular to CD and must also bisect it. So it is also the perpendicular bisector of CD. In other words, we can write this fact that the perpendicular bisectors of AB and CD, they are identical they are the same. So there is a common perpendicular bisector. Alright, now we know that the distance of AB from O is 4 cm. So let this point of intersection here be X. So we know that OX is 4 cm. And what we have to do is we have to find uh, the distance of CD from O. So let this point be Y. So we have to find the length of OY. Now, what we can do is, uh, we can first consider the triangle O, B, X and in this triangle we can apply the Pythagoras theorem because that will give us the radius of the circle. So let's highlight this triangle. We are considering the triangle O, B, X, this triangle. In this triangle, we know it, it's a right angle triangle. We know that um, O, X is 4 centimeters. What about this side B, X? So BX must be half of AB because uh, the perpendicular bisector of uh, AB will divide it into two equal parts. So AB is 6 cm, so BX will be 3 cm. So we know two of the sides, hence we can find the uh, hypotenuse OB. So in triangle OBX, we are applying the Pythagoras theorem. So OB square is equal to OX square plus BX square and OX is 4, so 4 square plus BX is 3 square, so this is equal to 25 and this means that OB is equal to 5 centimeters. So the radius of the circle is 5 centimeters and now what we can do is we can join O to this point D and now we can apply the Pythagoras theorem to ODY. So I'm going to highlight ODY now. O um, D, Y, this triangle. Now in this triangle, we have the hypotenuse now because we have found the radius of the circle and OD is also a radius of the circle. So OD is 5 cm and DY will be half of CD. CD is 8 cm. So DY will be half of that. So DY will be 4 cm. And now we can apply the Pythagoras theorem and find the value of OY. So let's do this in triangle O, D, Y, we have O, D square is equal to 
ओ वाई स्क्वायर प्लस डी वाई स्क्वायर ना ओ डी इज नोन ओ डी इज द सेम एज ओ बी विच इज फाइव सो वी हैव फाइव स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ओ वाई स्क्वायर ओ वाई इज वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड सो ओ वाई स्क्वायर प्लस डी वाई स्क्वायर इज फोर स्क्वायर सो वी गेट ओ वाई स्क्वायर इज फाइव स्क्वायर और ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस फोर स्क्वायर और सिक्सटीन सो दिस इज इक्वल टू नाइन एंड दिस मीन्स दैट ओ वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स सो दिस द लेंथ ऑफ दिस सेगमेंट हेयर इज थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स एंड दिस मीन्स दैट द डिस्टेंस ऑफ सी डी द लॉन्गर कॉड फ्रॉम द सेंटर इज थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स सो दैट्स आर आंसर एंड लेट मी समराइज द सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट वी अप्लाइड द पैथागोरस थ्योरम एक्चुअली द फर्स्ट स्टेप वॉज टू observe that the perpendicular bisector of both the chords is common because the two chords are parallel to each other then we applied the uh, pythagoras theorem to triangle obx and we found the radius of the circle the radius was 5 cm that allowed us to apply the pythagoras theorem to triangle ody where we knew the radius now 5 cm and we had one other side 4 cm so that allowed us to find the third side which is 3 cm so this completes question number 3 To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.